Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. We are hailing from our summer vacation from Bodrum, Turkey. This is our view from our room. This is a GNC. And if you're wondering what resort this is, this is Happy Max Seaside. So if you are looking for a summer spot, highly recommend it in Bodrum, Turkey. Today we have a three channel, very small helicopter review. So let's get started. My sons are having breakfast while they are on their phones, but I'm going to let them fly this little helicopter as well. So this is a SEMA S100. They claim this is the smallest three channel, 2.4 gigahertz helicopter on the market. Let's open it up and see what is inside. So here it is folks, it's really small. It's amazing that they can fit all the electronics, all the motor, power everything into such a small package let's see if there's any any battery a battery seems to be integrated so you cannot replace it it's inside I mean you can replace it but not easily and there is some red light so there's some battery I'm going to put this on charge so to get it ready and here is the controller as you can see on the left stick it is at the center it is spring loaded this means that this has altitude hold so it has an in internal barometer that keeps the altitude. So you are not controlling the throttle, you are controlling the up and down motion or the altitude. And here is the right control for usually in the three channel helicopters, it's a right left rotation and going forward and backward. And there are a couple buttons and I will look into the instruction manual and figure out what those are. By the way, the transmitter takes four AAA batteries. And everything was really snugly and well packaged with some zip ties and wire holding things in place so they didn't shift and break during transit. And what else do we have? We have the small charger that goes to a USB adapter, a very brightly orange Phillips screwdriver. This is mine. A spare, one spare tiny uh, tail rotor and I don't see any main rotor blades so probably they are saying oh, this is so lightweight it's not going to break a battery caution and a warranty card and also there is something adhere to your charging cable attention when charging so this is kind of like a one of those uh, caution stickers they left it to you to you know put it on your <laughs> charger Let's charge it up and see how it flies. By the way, I got this little helicopter from Amazon. Usually it sells for $30, but on the day I purchased, there was 30% off. So it brought down the price to $20.99. And incidentally, I bought it during the tax-free weekend. So there was no tax prime shipping. So it cost me, shipped to my door, $20.99. Now it is time to test it out. These buttons, so this one on the left, the elliptical button is the takeoff and landing button. So one key takeoff and landing. Of course, this is the power button. And these are the trims for uh, right and left rotation. So I'm going to turn it on now. It's fully, it should be fully charged. So the red light is blinking and put it away from me and turn this one on. The light is blinking, should be go up, down, and it stopped blinking. I'm assuming it's bound. I don't know if there is a calibration. Usually the calibration goes like this, but this one probably no. Okay, let's take it off and fly it and see how good it is. So there is a little bit of a, <laughs> a very cute draft coming from the air conditioning, but I'm going to get up and then follow it. <laughs> Fly towards my wife and scare her a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, maybe I have to 
So do you see the, those vents? There's a lot of uh, air coming from that. It's a very, and it's very stable. I mean, look. Oh, okay. I did something. I think I need to turn off. Hold on. Let me turn off the air conditioning over here before it hits something. Actually, I didn't turn it off, but I decrease it to the lowest setting. And here it is. Only when it hits the draft coming from over here, it just gets affected a little bit. So that's definitely very small. Tiny little helicopter. A lot of, it's, it's faster than I expected actually. I mean, look, it's going like this is full, full steam ahead. And I'm going to scare my son a little bit over there. He's, he's not going to like it. And then actually I'm going to land it and then ask him to fly. So it, it, it flies backwards pretty good as well. I mean, look. Whoa! Let's see if there is a manual landing. Yeah, there is a lot of draft coming still. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to give the controls to my sons and see if they can fly. Maybe I'll let my wife fly it as well. Are you up to it? Aren't we supposed to check out? <laughs> Well, it really was time to check out because that was our last day at that resort. But we are in a new location, my father's house. This is the northern side of Aegean Sea. We have another beautiful view outside and I have my kids, my boys here. And they are going to help me finish the review of the SEMA S100. This is a micro, really tiny little three-channel helicopter. So I've been flying it earlier today and I have seen a little bit of fish bowling effect. Let's see if I'll be able to record that when my younger son Kaya is flying it. Let's see. As you see, you know, once you go forward and suddenly stop, it does the fish bowling a little bit. It is kind of rotating back and forth. You can probably see it. But other than that, it is a nice little helicopter. It's tiny. It's not as stable as some of the larger ones, okay. <laughs> but Kaya is flying it just fine. And just cool close quarters. Let me change the angle. And it really is small. Okay, can you land it? Yeah, it is It is kind of a little <laughs> difficult. And we have, let me turn off the air conditioning because it may be affecting flight. So the air conditioning is blowing air from over here. It is off now, so let's see. Is it more stable, Kaya? I think it's more stable. It still does uh, that back and forth a little bit when you suddenly stop. But it's much more stable, more predictable. Oh, don't, don't hit it. Yeah, it's still like if you go forward and then suddenly stop, it tends to go back, leash backwards. Why don't you try landing on that marble table, coffee table? Just press that, that button, press that button. Yeah. It... Okay. okay, Bora, it's your turn. <laughs> Bora is a more airplane flyer. He's not a helicopter flyer, but he should be fine. <laughs> I think he understands the basic controls. How does it feel, Bora? Fine. A little weird not having it like be able to like go like right and left. Like yeah, you, you, like you like cannot bank right left on this one. This is three channel. They put three 
they, I don't know why they call it three and a half channel because it doesn't even have light control. Sometimes they give a half half channel if you can turn on and off the lights. And I wish, I wish this had lights in the front or on the side. And it doesn't. I mean, there is some red light inside. It's barely visible right now because it's all black with just a little bit of uh, green. So it. I can only see the silhouette and then when it's facing me or facing away from me I cannot tell the difference especially if it is dark like right now a little dark in the room so those lights would have made it so much more effective flying in at night or in the in the dark but again this is like really tiny airplane that you can take anywhere is the altitude to hold uh, jumping up and here. off? Like, is it drifting? Yeah, it is. Like, this is when I'm not touching anything. So you're not touching anything and it's it kind of goes down and up and down. So you have to be adjusting. It's not perfect. But still, for like 20 something dollars, it is well worth buying. And uh, right now it actually looks like it's a real helicopter flying outside from this angle over the sea. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, landed captain. Very nice, very nice. Here it is, folks. See my S100. <coughs> you know, is it highly recommended? Not highly, but you know, considering this has 2.4 gigahertz uh, controller, it's not infrared. You can fly it outside, outdoors, as long as there is absolutely no wind. Otherwise, won't be able to take it. It is very small. It's nice, and you can almost take it anywhere you want. Don't put it in your pocket, put it in a box, otherwise it will get crushed. But you know, for something like $20, $25, it's worth buying. I wouldn't buy it over $30. There are more um, advanced and better helicopters, three-channel helicopters, although larger than this one for that price. But it is a very nice uh, ultra micro. I mean, look, look at the size. Well, folks, thank you very much for watching. And we'll continue making videos and posting them from our vacation. And hope to see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.